Our job is not to divide. Our job is to bring people together. If we do not allow them to divide us up by race, by sexual orientation, by gender, by not allowing them to divide us up by whether or not we were born in America or whether we're immigrants, when we stand together as white and black and Hispanic and gay and straight and woman and man, when we stand together and demand that this country works for all of us rather than the few, we will transform America. And that is what this campaign is about. It's bringing people together. together. Hello, I'm Ivanka Trump. When I was a young girl, my father, Donald Trump, always told me that I could do anything that I set my mind to if I coupled vision with determination and hard work. He meant it. I consider myself fortunate to have learned from the best, both as an entrepreneur and, most importantly, a parent. My father is a man who is deeply grounded in tradition. He raised my siblings and me to work hard and strive for excellence in all that we do. He taught us that to inspire and gain respect in life and in business, you have to earn it. He has done just that over decades and achieved success at the highest level across multiple industries. He has employed tens of thousands of people and inspired them to achieve great things. Countless times I've watched my dad make deals that seemed impossible to get done. As president, my father will keep his word. He'll never quit fighting for this country and its future, and he will make America great again. I'm Donald Trump, candidate for president, and I approve this message. Paid for by Donald J. Trump for President, Inc. 2008, an economic meltdown. Worst financial collapse since the Great Depression. 4.4 million jobs lost. American workers were laid off in numbers not seen in over three decades. America's economy spiraling down. The biggest point drop that has ever been seen in a day. All before this president took the oath. So help me God. Some said our best days were behind us, but not him. Don't bet against the American worker. He believed in us, fought for us. And today, our auto industry is back, firing on all cylinders. Our greatest enemy brought to justice by our greatest heroes. Our troops are home from Iraq. Instead of losing jobs, we're creating them. Over 4.2 million so far. We're not there yet. It's still too hard for too many. But we're coming back because America's greatness comes from a strong middle class. Because you don't quit, and neither does he. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. Her church taught her to do all the good you can for all the people you can for as long as you can. After law school, she could have joined a high-priced law firm, but instead, she worked to reform juvenile justice in South Carolina exposed racism in Alabama schools, registered Latino voters in Texas, and provided legal aid to families in Arkansas. Her life's work has been about breaking barriers, and so would her presidency, which is why for every American who's not being paid what they're worth, who's held back by student debt or a system tilted against them, and there are far too many of you, she understands that our country can't reach its potential unless we all do. Together, a stronger country. Over the next four months, you have a choice to make. Not just between two political parties, or even two people. It's a choice between two very different plans for our country. Governor Romney's plan would cut taxes for the folks at the very top, roll back regulations on big banks, and he says that if we do, our economy will grow and everyone will benefit. But you know what? We tried that top-down approach. It's what caused the mess in the first place. I believe the only way to create an economy built to last is to strengthen the middle class, asking the wealthy to pay a little more so we can pay down our debt in a balanced way, so that we can afford to invest in education, manufacturing, and homegrown American energy for good middle-class jobs. Sometimes politics can seem very small, but the choice you face couldn't be bigger. 
I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Her parents abandoned her when she was just eight years old. She was mistreated, but she never gave up. And she taught me to do the same. My mom's life and what she went through are big reasons why standing up for kids and families became such a big part of my life. After law school, she could have gone to a big firm, but instead went to work for the Children's Defense Fund. In Arkansas, she fought for school reform to change lives forever. Then as First Lady, she helped get health care for 8 million kids. You probably know the rest. The Senator who made sure the heroes and families of 9-11 got the care they needed. The Secretary of State who joined the cabinet of the man who defeated her. Because when your president calls, you serve. And now a new title, Grandma. I believe that when families are strong, America is strong. It's your time. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. The son of a Polish immigrant who grew up in a Brooklyn tenement. He went to public schools, then college, where the work of his life began, fighting injustice and inequality, speaking truth to power. He moved to Vermont, won election and praise as one of America's best mayors. In Congress, he stood up for working families and for principle, opposing the Iraq war, supporting veterans. Now he's taking on Wall Street and a corrupt political system, funded by over a million contributions, tackling climate change to create clean energy jobs, fighting for living wages, equal pay, and tuition-free public colleges. People are sick and tired of establishment politics, and they want real change. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, husband, father, grandfather, an honest leader, building a movement with you to give us a future to believe in. I'm Bernie Sanders, and I approve this message. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. The politicians can pretend it's something else, but Donald Trump calls it radical Islamic terrorism. That's why he's calling for a temporary shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until we can figure out what's going on. He'll quickly cut the head off ISIS and take their oil. And he'll stop illegal immigration by building a wall on our southern border that Mexico will pay for. We will make America great again. I have spent my entire adult life looking for ways to even the odds to help people have a chance to get ahead to find the ways for each child to live up to his or her God-given potential. I'm fighting for all Americans, not just some, for the struggling, the striving, and the successful. No matter who you are, what you look like, what faith you practice, or who you love, I am fighting for you. I'm fighting for everyone who's ever been knocked down but refused to be knocked out. I'm going to fight until every little girl in America knows she can grow up to be anything she wants, even President of the United States. Sanders and I approve this message.